I had thought of saying something about the sacrifice which had been made and the tribute which should be paid to the memory of those uh, whose lives were given and also in tribute to the families from which they come and in words of sympathy to them. But I see on the inscription here words more eloquent than any which I could attempt to express. And I should like to, to, to read them, if I may, to all who are assembled uh, in, this, in this spot at this moment. On this beach, officers and men of the Royal Regiment of Canada died at dawn, 19th of August, 1942, striving to reach the heights beyond. You who are alive on this beach, remember that these men died far from home, that others here and everywhere might freely enjoy life in God's mercy. They are not forgotten by their comrades. Eminence, ladies and gentlemen, that tribute will sink deeply into the hearts of the Canadian people. I am especially grateful, speaking in the name of my fellow countrymen, that you have paid special tribute to those who, whose names will be for all time associated with the place in which we stand today. I would like with reverence and pride to pay my tribute to their memory in this place and I send to their dear ones in Canada a message of sympathy and admiration. May I on behalf of the government and people of Canada also express uh, to the citizens of Hui, to the citizens of all the communities along these, these coasts of <coughs> Eminence, Mr. Prefect, Mr. Mayor, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the government and people of Canada, may I express the warmest thanks to all who have thought of who have participated in and who have arranged the deeply impressive ceremonies in which we have been privileged to share this morning. No words that I could utter could begin to express the feelings that are in my heart, in the hearts of my colleagues who are with me, members of the official departments of government in Canada, and above all in the hearts of the officers and men uh, who are associated with the events which have taken place in this sacred spot. But I would like to say that all that has taken place here this morning will deeply touch the heart of Canada, touch the heart of every part of our dominion. For it was on these shores and in this, this place that members <coughs> of the forces of Canada from each of its provinces, from the Atlantic to the Pacific, shared in the effort to, um, to take the course of action that would lead, as it did ultimately lead, to the freeing of peoples from a great tyranny.